Kira Sot, how are you doing today? And um, thanks to all the new subscribers, I'm um, quite shocked that I'm actually at 74. They never think I'd even get to um, 50, <laughs> how long it's been taking. But anyways, that's cool and all. Big thank you to all you people that have stuck by my side and have continued to watch my videos even though I probably don't make videos that every single person likes. And I, and I try to talk about all the things that I enjoy, not just cross-dressing stuff, which I finally started talking about that stuff a little bit. And that's probably why most people are subscribing, because they like that. But um, not everything I like is, is stuff about that. So anyway, talking about The Walking Dead, the new episode came out this Sunday, which was actually yesterday, because I'm recording this on a Monday. <laughs> so yeah, it was great. Um, the guy from Comic Corner said it was like a filler episode, but to me it didn't feel like a filler episode because to me a filler episode is something that that has nothing to do with the actual plot. That to me is a filler episode. Like in Smallville there was tons of filler episodes that didn't continue on to the plot. It was just something that was like totally different from the actual plot of the story. That to me is a filler. This didn't feel like a filler yet. Yeah, it starts off grieving and all that stuff and then you get a little bit of action at the end. A little bit of action in the beginning too with a zombie but yeah it was a great episode if I was gonna scale it out of a what was it like a five it would be at least a four it was pretty good I did like it and there hasn't really been any episode I haven't liked but today we're gonna have a um, face-off battle but I'm also gonna talk about the comic books that I actually like some of my favorites this is Vogue you know I wouldn't say this is one of my favorites I just like the cover it's from Image Comics. It's number one. She was from um, Young Blood. Also, Grifter, number one. I really enjoyed this issue. Yeah, it wasn't reviewed. I recently got it. I know it's been out for a while, so yeah, you can um, just forget about the review on that. I did like it, though. Um, Shadow Hawk, number one, baby. This is what really got me into comic books. This specific comic book is the one that really got me big into it. Besides the Avengers, it was an Avenger one where it was Hawkeye, Black Panther, and um, Giant Man, which is probably why those guys are my favorites. But yeah, I loved it. This, but this, my friend had this in Louisiana, and he loved it, and I wanted this comic book so bad, and I found it at, at a Walmart somewhere in Panama City a long time ago, and it was good. It's a good issue. I love it. Um, Backlash. Love this comic book, people. This is I have almost the whole series now. I'm missing like issue 30, 31, I think so. Um, and this right here. It's kind of it's a Marvel comic. Yeah, it's number seven of the Slingers. This is one of my favorite comic books of all times. So I've read this comic book probably about fifty something times. I love it. Um, this is a rare comic book, um, Battle Chasers number three. I don't, it's hard to find, and I love the freaking cover. The comic book is good as well. I love this character, and I can't think what her name is, but, uh, this is another one right here. Randy O'Donnell is the man. This is a great, this is what really made me want to actually be a comic book writer. And yes, comic book writer, yes. Um, this is, um, number two. And number three, and it actually talks about in the comic book how to become a comic book writer or artist, and it calls people that read comic book nerds and geeks. And actually, I took that to offense. Remember, this is an old comic book, so I was pissed off when I heard that. Also, Backlash with Grifter in it. Yeah, Grifter. I'm being a, a huge Grifter fan. I'm more of a Backlash fan. However, but that is the fight that I want. It's a face-off between Grifter and... Backlash. Now, Backlash actually has powers, and Grifter pretty much doesn't have any powers. But yeah, he's good with guns. He's in the DC one. He's kind of a, in the military or some military background. And they say that he does have powers, but he was concealed away through the Coda, which is a well. It's hard to say. That girl um, Zolit trained him in the way of the coda which is only females were supposed to be trained in that but he's the only guy now other than these two i don't know who would win i mean if you know of these two characters you can pick who wins if not 
I would I would give it to Backlash, not just because he's my favorite, but he's got he's got abilities and powers with that lash that he has. It comes out of his arm. Yeah, I forget what his powers are. You have to look it up online. But um, I love this character, and this is kind of my collection, and I'll show some more later on. But anyways, I gotta go, people. Thanks for watching. Remember, Grifter versus Backlash. Who you think would win? And um, next week I'll pick two other people in the face off. What the hell happened? So, you two dimwits are going on strike? I'm too dark from the Thundercats. We know who you are. Stop saying that. You're repeating yourself. You sound like an idiot. You? What are you staring at? I don't like this guy. He's creepy. You're going on strike. You've never been on the damn show. I don't care about you. You suck. What? You threatening me? Hey, he just threatened me. Okay, then. I'll take care of this, Kira. Why is that phone book open? What happened? We were busy today. Bonka teaching, Zinka bleaching. I like bleach in my hair. Oh, wait a minute, that burns really bad. Ah!